time. Time is so precious for us. But do we know about time? We shall learn now. Time is generally learnt with the help of a clock. You know a clock? Clock is basically helping us to read the time. A clock always tells us the time. So as you can see over here, this clock is having 12 numbers. And the 12 numbers are starting from 1 up to 12. Here, there are two rounds that a clock takes in one day. So, there are three hands that we can see on every clock. The smallest one is the hour hand. The hour hand moves in one hour. So, its movement, one movement will tell us the one hour. If in total, it takes a complete turn, that would be, its two turns would make the complete one day or we call it 24 hours. The minute hand moves in one minute. That means if it takes one complete round, that would be making six, one complete hour and one complete hour has 60 minutes. If we talk about the second hand, that is the most thinnest and very long one, that moves for one second and for one minute it makes 60 seconds. So in one minute we have 60 seconds, that is it takes one complete round to make one complete minute. Now we shall learn about the conversion of time, hours and minutes. So the conversion of 2 hours and 45 minutes into minutes would be when we multiply the hours by 60 because we know 1 hour has 60 minutes, so 2 into 60 makes 120. So 120 plus 45 makes 165 minutes in total. Now next question would be again the conversion one only. The next conversion would be for this case. Here we have the conversion of minutes and seconds. That is converting of 3 minutes and 37 seconds into seconds. Again we will be converting the minutes to seconds. 1 minute has 60 seconds. So we would have 3 multiplied to 60 that gives us 180. Now we have 180 seconds and we have the 37 seconds already. So we add them up together to give us 217 seconds in total. So that means the 3 minutes and 37 seconds completely into seconds would be 217 seconds. So these are one of the easiest conversions that you can learn. Now conversion of time but in bigger units this time. Here we have 540 minutes to be converted into bigger units. Now the bigger unit would be definitely hours. So for conversion we have 540 divided by 60 that gives us 9. That means if you have 540 minutes in hours you would call it 9 hours. So that means hours is a bigger unit compared to minutes. So we have converted the minutes to hours by dividing it with 60 and that is the answer.